Hi there, Journey owners. Today in our 2015 Dodge Journey, we're gonna be installing eTrailer.com's Class 3 2-inch trailer hitch receiver. And this is what our hitch is gonna look like when it's installed. You are gonna be able to see the cross tube and the receiver sticking down below your bumper. It is a Class 3 2-inch by 2-inch receiver, so it's gonna be great for all of your towing needs, whether it be bike racks, cargo carriers, or small trailers. It uses a 5 8 inch hitch pin and clip. Now one doesn't come included with the hitch, but you can pick one up here at eTrailer.com. It features plate style safety chain loops. It's got a medium size opening that should accommodate most safety chains. It features a 400 pound tongue weight. And that's the force going down on top of the receiver and a 4,000 pound gross towing capacity. And that's how much it can pull behind it. You can use a weight distribution system with this hitch, but it will not increase your tongue weight or gross towing capacity. You always wanna verify in your vehicle's owner's manual and ensure that you don't exceed any of your vehicle's towing capacities. With these weight ratings, it's more than enough for a bike rack or small cargo carrier, as well as small trailers. Now I've got some measurements for you to help you when deciding on accessories. From the ground to the top inside edge of the receiver tube, it measures about 13 and a half inches. This is important when determining if you need a drop, rise, or raise shank on any of your accessories. And from the center of the hitch pin hole to the edge of the rear bumper, it measures about four inches. This is important when determining if any of your folding accessories can be placed in the upright storage position without contacting the bumper. We'll begin our installation by placing a strap in place to catch our exhaust because we're going to need to lower it down. Simply wrap it around our lower control arms here, making a little catch for the exhaust. To lower our exhaust down, we'll need to remove the hangers. There's going to be three on each side. There's two at the rearmost on top of the muffler and there's one towards the front. We're going to spray these with some silicone lubricant to help make it easier to take them off. And then you can simply use a pry bar to just pry these off. We're going to do the same thing with the one at the front part of the muffler towards the front of the vehicle. Once you've got three removed on one side, you're going to repeat the same process on the other side. Then we can loosen our strap up little by little, lowering it down nice and slow. You just wanna get enough room to where you can get your hitch up in above your muffler. We'll now use our fish wire that comes in the kit to start feeding our bolts in. We're gonna start with the hole in the bumper beam here in the back. We're gonna go in up through that and then come out the side. Once you get it out the side, slide your large spacers that come in the kit onto the fish wire, then thread your carriage bolt onto the fish wire. Slide them both in and drop them down. We're gonna repeat this on the other side for the hole in the bumper beam. Then we'll fish wire our bolts into our frame. So we're gonna take our fish wire, go up through the small hole go back to our larger square hole here where we're going to pull the coiled end down. We'll now use the smaller spacers. We're going to slide that onto the carriage bolt, thread our carriage bolt on it, push those up into the frame, then use the fish wire to pull it back down. We're gonna repeat that for the other hole on this side and then both holes on the other side. Before we place our hitch up, we're gonna take the wedge-shaped spacers. We're gonna place the larger side of the wedge towards the rear of the vehicle. And then we're gonna use some tape to just hold that in position, wrap it around the other side. Then you can just take a screwdriver or a piece of plastic. I like just push it through there. Razor blade works as well. This way we can get our bolt to feed through, but our spacer will stay in place. We're gonna do that on the other side as well. Now with an extra set of hands, we're gonna feed our hitch into position. You wanna be careful not to push the bolts back up into the frame. Thread on the flange nuts that come into your kit onto the bolts as they pass through. 
Once you get one on each side, the hitch will hold itself up, making it easier to install the rest of your hardware. Then you can go back and tighten down all your hardware with a 19 millimeter socket. Then you can go back and torque all the hardware to the specifications found in your instructions. We can now put our exhaust back up. We'll just spray it with some lubricant just like we did to remove it. Then you can just lift it back up and put it back on. And we can now remove our strap. And we're ready to hook up our accessories or trailer and hit the road. And that completes our installation of eTrailer.com's Class 3 2-inch trailer hitch receiver on your 2015 Dodge Journey.